Okay, a little brief update on the East Breeze I-1500. There she goes. All right, it's been back up for a few weeks now. And that same problem that we had before, we're not having any more, but the thing is still rocking on the tower a little bit. I, I don't know if there's just enough slop in the bearing to where it lets it move back and forth or, or what. But, uh, and I don't know if it's actually, if you can actually be able to see it on, on, on the camera here. But it does seem to be holding pretty strong. Now today we had sustained 28 mile an hour winds for just a little bit and it gusted up just a little over 30. Uh, so pretty breezy. And it's also been very rainy the last four or five days. Something I was worried about is this tower is after the ground got wet, I was worried that the tower would settle and shift and, and sink. So uh, I marked everything and I waited for the rain. And after three days of rain, well, about four days, we had one day that wasn't too bad, but after a pretty good bit of rain, it hasn't moved. So I think that it's okay for now. We haven't had any of our real 50 mile an hour blows that uh, we're known for out here, but it did hold up to the, the ground getting nice and soft, or at least the top part of it. So that part's going good. And we also had new peaks. Of course, I doubt the sound will be able to come through, but it got a little breezy there. It's, it's really quiet. It doesn't make that much more noise than, uh, than that little 400 over there, which uh, I've always been impressed with how quiet that one is. These two are still noisy as all get out. The 400 is pretty quiet. The 1500 up there, it runs a lot. It runs a lot more often than these other ones, but it's it's higher up. And uh, it's fairly quiet. Okay, the Easter Breeze. Now, okay, it wasn't so windy that the highs have changed on the other ones. Uh, my 700 is still sitting at 1051. The 500, it's always been disappointing, sitting at 282, 283, 282.3. And the 400 is still sitting at 600. 602. Okay, so that's what these three have been showing for a while. Uh, the Easter Breeze got a new peak today 1,733 watts. And 36.59 amps. Okay, I think. One of the reasons why it, uh, why this one's kicking out that much, but these are these other ones haven't increased any. I did change to this inverter. Uh, something that was happening is that this inverter, after it gets above 45 volts, the whole thing shuts off, and then the turbines start freewheeling, uh, and you know they're they're just going to the batteries and no real load on them. They spool up, kick out a lot of wattage, but they're not really under a whole lot of work. Uh, this one, it doesn't shut off until 50 volts. So it's, uh, you know, they didn't get to spool up quite as much, but the Easter Breeze is still kicking out the work. So I like the Easter Breeze. I still think that that one is, uh, it's not the best watts per dollar, but that one is, doing twice the work of all three of the other ones combined. I think it's a good buy. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm going to continue to make updates on this Easter Breeze and, and the other ones if anything interesting happens with them. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing it regularly. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay away from each other.